Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to talk about the AND Boolean operator. So the AND Boolean operator combines two Boolean expressions. If both expressions are true, then the record is going to be retrieved or the record is going to be included within the result set. If either of the expressions is false, then the row or record is not going to be retrieved. Now this AND works exactly like the AND Boolean operator that we have in Python. So this one should be very, very easy for you. So I'm going to say select from where, oops, where. So where do we want to select from? We want to select from the employees table, and I'm just going to alias it as E. Uh, what is the condition? So the condition is that I'm going to say I want to select all the employees ID, first name and last name, if their salary is greater than 4,000 and it is less than 10,000. So if you think you can do this, I encourage you to pause the video right now and go ahead and attempt it. That's why I explain it first so you have the chance if you want to like you have all the ideas you have all the fundamentals down you know all of them if you think you can do it I do encourage it even if you are not sure about it just pause the video and think about it and come up with the solution and then you can like hit the play again and uh, you can see my solution. So you can think of these examples as challenges as well. It depends on your perspective how you are going about this course. So I'm going to say where E, now first before actually going there, let's take a look at the employees table. So in the employees table we have employee ID, first name, last name, email, phone number, hire date, job ID, salary. So we are looking for salaries, right? So the salary is the name of the column. So we say where E dot salary, and you can see that the alias even works in the where clause. Where E dot salary is greater than 4,000, and then I'm going to say and E dot salary is less than 10,000. That's it. So this is the part where, where it is really important. So what do we want to do? We want to select the e dot employee ID. So I'm going to say employee ID, and I'm going to say e dot first name. You can see that it does have some sort of an intelligence like VS Code, so that helps you to speed up your coding. So first name, then we have last name. So we want to grab the employee ID, employee first name, and employee last name for tables sorry for rows or records that have the salary greater than 4000 and less than 10000 so if a salary is greater than 4000 it is going to grab it and if it if a salary is less than 10000 it is going to grab it so if both of these expressions evaluate to true you know what a boolean operator is you know what a boolean expression is we have talked a lot about that that's why the SQL course was not the first course. The first course was the Python course. Because these ideas, this programming knowledge, it's not only applied in, in programming languages, it is applied in database languages as well, like SQL. So you can see that idea of software engineering is applied consistently throughout these fields. And you can see that in action. So this greater than sign is the same greater than sign that you have in Python. You know what, they, what this means. All the records or rows or values of this salary which are greater than 4,000, we are going to get them. And all the ones which are less than 10,000. If both of them evaluate to true, then the, the rows will be included within the result set. Otherwise, it's not. And with this so this is the condition what is the actual data that this condition applies on it is on the employee id first name and last name so from this condition we want to extract this data keep that in mind this is also an important part so this how how is this going to run i'm just going to give you a demo so it is going to first take a look at the select so let's say we don't have any columns here then it's going to say, okay, so it's select, I need to extract some records, I know that. So I, I like being this MySQL engine that is running this code. From, okay, which table is it? 
So I need to know, I know it is the HalaliDB database, but which table? And let's put this one in, and it is going to take a look at the E. Okay, it doesn't make sense. E is not a table. Then when it moves back to, comes down to the from, it says, oh, E is an alias for employees. Now I get it. Then it is going to take a look at, find, it is basically looking for semicolon. Where does it end? Because that's where the query ends. That's where the query execution ends. So the command, the uh, semicolon is right here. It's going to say where. Okay. So this is a condition. Let me take a look at it. If the condition syntax is correct. Okay. This is correct. This is correct. This is correct. Okay. So let's move on. It says e dot salary. I know what e is. E is the employee's table. So salary. Let's take a look at the employee's table. Whether it has a salary column yes it does so he basically wants me to give him all the salaries greater than four thousand that's cool i can do that oh there is an and here so it is a boolean operator i need to check for another expression as well oh and he wants all the salaries less than ten thousand okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to give him all the salaries which are between this range between this interval so from four thousand to ten thousand that's it so and then the engine is going to find the semicolon and that's it so if I run this come on buddy uh, select employee ID there we go so these ones are the ones these are the employees whose salaries are between 4,000 and 10,000 you can verify this further by selecting the salary so e dot salary salary perfect so you can see that none of them is less than 4,000 and none of them is greater than 10,000 very very simple stuff right so that's it for this lecture see you in the next one